called Let's Talk About Crunchyroll, as if we haven't already farmed like two separate videos, <laughs> you know, talking about Crunchyroll, but a kid nut's got something to say. I'd like to hear it. Let's farm it. The only thing worse than Crunchyroll's yearly award show is their business practices. What up, weebs? Is the award show that bad? I haven't watched. Um, I know that a lot of people were like asking me like to like react to it or whatnot, but I, I think it's just boring. But like, is it that bad? I saw like Megan Thee Stallion cosplaying different anime characters and thinking like, oh, cool, you know, mainstream media people getting into this like niche culture. That's kind of nice for representation and whatnot and spreading the words. But is it that bad? It's a popularity contest, not awards. Well, I mean, who votes for the awards, right? Votes are popularity contests. Well, sometimes this should be based on merit, not just popularity, but it's probably super biased. Probably really cringe, mid. <laughs> I'm a kid nut, and I'm probably not getting sponsored by Crunchyroll after this video. <laughs> no one is getting sponsored by Crunchyroll after we farm all this shit. But let's get real. I praying on Crunchyroll's downfall, bro. But I'm here to tell you what your favorite anime YouTuber is too afraid to say. Giguk is not my goat. Giguk? Sea Dog, Anime Man, I don't care about them. I, I'm neutral. I think Sea Dog has a very sexy voice. Anime Man, I farm his videos. Giguk, though, this motherfucker, he said Windbreaker was an only fighting anime. And that, that there was no story. He said that Seven Shota was mid. After only watching six episodes, he placed level 2 cheat in D tier after watching two episodes, which kind of makes sense. But this is your goat of anime? Stop glazing this guy's asshole. Just listen to what he has to say. And then you'll realize it's like... Does this guy even watch anime? Nah, I'm a giga hater now. I'm a giga hater now, man. Tuber is too afraid to say. Yeah. Crunchyroll sucks. True. As you might have heard, Crunchyroll just removed their entire comment section in response to some hate comments that we'll talk about in a minute, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Explain to me how Crunchyroll, a billion dollar company who wow. secretly profited from selling your information, can't afford to pay its translators a livable- No, you don't understand! They can't pay the translators! The CEOs and the shareholders, they gotta buy their yachts! The other big corpo CEOs are getting bigger yachts. The, you, you, you gonna let them feel bad? They gotta get their new annual yacht. And if that means not paying translators, if that means using AI to give shitty fucking translations, if that means lack of moderation and just going for no comments allowed on the platform, then it is what it is. We must suffer as peasants so that the corporate overlords can enjoy their yachts. Wage. And why does Crunchyroll keep taking away community features and making its user experience worse without lowering the subscription fee that we're paying them every month? And how they're removing features and increasing price. The value proposition goes down, yet the price for that product goes up. There's something off here, man. How does Crunchyroll monopolize the anime streaming industry, but they still I just realized. Bro is playing One Piece soundtrack in the background. Because I reading, you know? <laughs> Let's go, Kaiser Cool. <laughs> don't have Made in Abyss. For a company that dominated the market via buying out and yeah. shutting down most of their competitors, the amount of anime. Wow, let's look at that chart for a second. Num. Okay, hold on. Most of the. Number of. Hold up. Number of Crunchyroll paying subscribers worldwide from in millions, right? So you got 2012 and September on the very left, in January 2020. Damn, something changed, huh? Holy shit, the growth from August to January 20... Well, there's like three years missing, right? Everything here is like 2021, 2021, then totally 2024, right? Compared to before, it's like one year gap and two year gap. But the growth here is absolutely insane, huh? Their competitors, the amount of anime they've been yeah. dropping from their platform is kind of alarming. Food Wars, Danmachi, Snafu, Oshinoko... Dropping or freeing? Let the birds run out of the cage, fly out of the cage, man. But like, why are they dropping all these titles? Because it's probably expensive to be like a license holder for these shows, right? All of the Night, Clan Ad, Evangelion, Violet Evergarden, Kaon, Akamega, Kill, The Eminence in Shadow, No Game, No Life, <laughs> Season 1 of ReZero, and just earlier today. Just Season 1 of ReZero? Season 2, and then presumably Season 3 coming in about three months is gonna be on Crunchyroll? That's interesting. Plastic memories randomly disappeared as well. But hey. At least failure they frame. still have all of Bl Failure Flame! Oh, Failure Frame mentioned, luckily. At least they still have all of Bleach. Do they? No, they don't. Bleach went to, like, Disney, right? What happened with Bleach? It went somewhere else, right? 
Oh, go. wait. That's uh, right. I what think about they got rid of Bleach right around the same time they got rid of our ability to take screenshots. I remember back when ReZero Season 2 was oh! aired. Did anyone watch this video? Am I gonna get spoiled for ReZero shit that I shouldn't be spoiled? It's out of context. It's out of con- I'm scared. Should I watch? Is anybody- has anyone seen this video? I'm fucking scared. I- I- I'm scared. I'm scared. I- 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 No, I didn't watch it. No, I didn't watch it. Out of context? Fuck it! We raw dog it! I was trying to get a good screen cap of Reinhardt to use in a thumbnail, but it- I do know Reinhardt, though. I do know this guy. Just because, like, people were just like, hyping this dude, like, to be, like, the new, new, not Superman, but, like, he is insane, right? I think I even made a comparison with, like, Sid Kagano during I Am Atomic and, like, Reinhardt, because he is, like, the strongest or some shit, right? People, like, in power fantasy, like, power scaling videos, like, this dude's always there. Art to use in a thumbnail, but it didn't work. I was so confused. At first, I thought maybe Reinhardt has a divine protection of screenshot. Blah, 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 that wasn't it. In reality, it was just crunch. I think we got away with the spoilers. Sorry about all the yelling. She rolled trying. It's because we're starting ReZero in about two months. No, I think that ReZero reactions will start in about a month. Here's the game plan. I'm marathoning Last Crusade. Once I'm caught on, Dangers in My Heart, two seasons. Then finish Slime Diary, six episodes. Then it should be somewhere in August. Somewhere in August, we start ReZero, and then it's going to be like a marathon. Every day, ReZero until season 3 in October. That's the schedule. That's the schedule. Trying to take away another feature from its users while still charging us $11.99 a month. I yeah, actually yeah. had to start watching anime on a different... Oh, I know that layout! Hold the fuck up! Hold the fuck up! That's a... <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, these are like all the same websites by the way. Like Anywave, Annex TO, like they all rip from like the same source and the front end's just different. The front end UI and the domain name will be different, but like the video itself is from the same fucking back end. Thank you, Tiger, for the sub appreciate it, man! All right, back to the video. I actually had to start watching anime on a different website because Crunchyroll didn't allow me to screenshot. And while I was on that website, sailing across the Grand Line, I mm. noticed something. What? Somehow, every week, the pirate site was actually getting the Better? new episodes an hour before Crunchyroll did. Yeah. And there was a comment section. They so diligent. I see how other people... Pirated website comment section over Crunchyroll comment section. Yep, they got better memes. They got better community. Yep. ...reacted to the episodes too. It was nice. Of course, occasionally someone would write a meme comment with bad words. But look at this. They have actual moderation. Isn't that crazy? A pirated website actually has TOS and has moderators to make sure that the shit Crunchyroll was dealing with regarding like the BL Yaoi animes, right? The hate, the homophobic comments they got. It, the, it, instead of just nuking the comments, these dudes actually have moderation. As a pirate site. Not a billion dollar corporation. It's, it, it's just, it's just a pirate site. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that insane? Oh, no, 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 no. Crunchyroll, Corpo, Execs, they need their yachts, remember? They cannot afford this. Words in it, but do you know what happened to those people? Their accounts got banned because wow. the pirate website had moderators. And do you have any idea why Crunchyroll doesn't have moderators? Because they need newer yachts every year. I'll give you one guess. All right, let's see. A or B, let's see. What is it? A. A. Money. Money. Or B. B. Also money. All of the above. They would <laughs> rather take away a feature from their community than pay to moderate it. It's yep. always about money, guys. Yep. But before... I believe there's a term called... Maybe this isn't the right thing. But there's this term called what the market will bear. And this phrase is used in situations in business or uh, where basically anytime like a price hike happens, right? Let's say for Twitch, for example, the subscription prices went up, right? They know after research and doing some projections, they're like, I think that this value is something that the market will bear. Meaning even if there is a little bit of a price increase, like people will be like, ah, it's just a dollar or two. Ah, it's fine. I'll do it. So that's like what the market you 
will bear. Crunchyroll, on the other fucking hand, are they believing that the market will bear this bullshit? Like, they're getting rid of all these other, you know, features. They're increasing the prices. The value proposition goes down, but they're confident about it, right? Like, these corporations aren't dumb. As much as you think that they're dumb and stupid, their goal is to make as much money off of you as possible. A lot of these decisions are based through, like, data-driven decisions. They got whole teams. They got whole smart people doing research and figuring out how do we squeeze the most amount of money? Like, don't get it twisted. These corporations are not stupid. They have faith that whatever they're doing right now is actually going to make them more money. And it's really hard to believe, right? It's just like, what? Is it really? And I, I think the comment section shit, I truly believe that the average person don't even use the comment section. Or do they even engage with it? I think a lot of normies has no idea and they just want to use the product. And because the vast amount of the audience or the clients that Crunchyroll has are those normies, except like 5 to 10% of people who are super engaged and super, you know, just using these features, I, I, I think that they might actually get away with it. I hope it doesn't. I hope, I hope we, you know, unite as monkeys and decide to step away from Crunchyroll, but it's just... Their goal is to make as much money as possible. And whether or not it's in the short term or the long term, who really knows? But they're doing this intentionally. This is not random shit they're doing. It's very intentional. Always about money, guys. But before I get too ahead of myself, I should explain what actually happened for those of you that haven't heard yet. Basically, there's a gay romance anime airing right now, yeah. and a lot of anti-gay people got mad. Hey, what the fuck is that egg? What's the explanation here? What's the explanation here? Oh, bro, I, I, I spilled something down there. Oh, it smells really great. Oh, let me get a sniff, bro. Oh, nice, bro. Bad and left hateful comments. They also review bombed this anime, giving it one out of five stars, and they left homophobic reviews as well. Now, I haven't Moderate seen this shit. anime yet. I'm actually about to watch it right now to see if it truly deserves one out of five stars, but regardless, it's obviously wrong to leave homophobic comments, and Crunchyroll had no choice but to take action. However, a reasonable response to this problem Moderate. would have just been to hire moderators to remove the inappropriate comments and ban the people that wrote them. But Or we can just go for the nuclear option and just go bam bam but then as rev says like this might have not been the most important factor in you know nuking the comment section right this could have been a series of events that's been bottling up for who knows for how long how long right and this is the last straw that broke there's a problem with that you see that would mean that crunchyroll would have to pay their employees <laughs> that too yeah so they removed the entire comment section Easy. instead, and they claimed that they did this to protect the community. Guys, we're saved. Crunchyroll is taking a stand. The only thing getting protected here is the corporations and then the brand itself. Well, I'd say that they're not even doing that justice, right? They're not protecting their brand. This their brand is in the fucking shitters right now. They're, when you mention Crunchyroll, like people don't have a nice opinion about them anymore. I'm not sure if they ever were held in high regards, but right now, it's looking pretty fucking bad. Exactly, the wallets are getting protected, the bottom line of the corpa is getting protected, the community? The community suffers for it. Without a comment section, what kind of fucking community are you building? This is like a simple, like, like, I hate the YouTube comment section. If I wanted it my way, I would simply make a reaction video, you would watch that reaction, and then you would fuck off without me having to listen to your monkey opinions through these comments. Vast majority of you are pretty good, but there are some stupid people where it really is like, I question why I exist sometimes when I read those comments. But just nuking those comments is not a good thing. Because that comment section is where people start to engage with each other and talk about the common hobby that we all share together, enjoying anime. And that's how you form a community. And once you get rid of that feature in Crunchyroll, like what do you mean protecting your community? You're actively destroying it against bigotry yeah not really what they don't want to tell you is that they probably didn't even ban anyone over this it's highly likely that all the homophobic people who wrote those comments are still members of the crunchyroll yeah because if they ban them then their subscription fees are nulled out so why moderate and pay people and then ban these people then you're losing out money on the people that had to moderate and you're losing out money on the people that got banned so instead, don't moderate and don't ban. Money!
community because if Crunchyroll bans their account, then Crunchyroll loses money. So no, Crunchyroll is not fighting against homophobia, they're just hiding it. And the yeah. real reason they took away the comment section was not to protect- Anytime, corporations, right? What happens every June, Pride Month, every corpa, they get their rainbow flags out, right? Their logos change, whatnot. They have these campaigns. And you know what? That's actually kind of nice. Now you're going to go out of your way to do this representation. But don't get it twisted. They're not doing this because they believe in the cause. They're doing it because it's profitable. Right? Anytime you have corporations showing a little bit of virtue signaling and trying to represent minority groups or controversial opinions of discriminated groups, it's never about social justice. They don't give a fuck about it. It's all about the money at the end of the day. Protect the community, it was to protect their wallet. It makes me sad because I keep seeing LGBTQ people on Twitter defending Crunchyroll without realizing that they're just being manipulated by a- You know what, you deserved it then. You, you're gonna defend a fucking corpa that actively goes out to, you know, do you injustice of your own fucking community? You deserve this shit. Greedy corporation. I don't know who needs to hear this, but Crunchyroll only cares about one thing. Money! And you. They won't even pay their translators ethical wages, hey, and they're cheapy. trying to replace them with AI now. So if Crunchyroll doesn't care about their own employees... <laughs> Average salaries for Crunchyroll translator. Zero dollars. Because why you gotta pay a robot bro right you got the ai it's gonna do its work it's never gonna work for vacations it's never gonna call in sick it's never gonna call in days off it's gonna do everything for you for free do you really think they care about the lgbtq plus community hell anyway, no let me watch this anime real quick and i'll give you my thoughts as soon as i'm done yeah all right so yeah so that was pretty gay yeah it's a, you know it's a gay romance about yeah. two gay guys doing gay things okay and it's actually not bad so oh. if that sort of thing interests you then i would highly recommend it should we watch this guys is anyone oh what is that pose my man oh my goodness this guy's more cheeked up than a lot of the girls in the animes that we're watching right now. Personally, though, I didn't enjoy it because I don't think I'm the intended audience. I mean, I'm not gay. I like you. You don't have to convince me, a kid nut. You don't have to. Boobs and women and femboys. But that's right. Femboys are not gay. Femboys. Are... That, that's a different video we can make a different time. But despite how straight I am, I can still recognize that this anime deserves better than one out of five stars. Yeah. I'm guessing most of the people review bombing didn't even- Of course they didn't watch it. They just see gay title and they're like, yep, gay, bad, cringe L. It's just young impressionable kids that has shitty role models that are extremely homophobic. And then they're going to go out and write this shit. Like, what do you expect from dumb, edgy teenagers, right? Watch it, and they just blindly assumed that the anime was trying to push an agenda when in reality it's actually not. It's simply just a gay anime for gay people to enjoy, and nobody is forcing you to watch it. This anime actually did nothing wrong, guys, so if you're one of the people leaving hate comments and Let's see, what are the, what are the comments actually saying? Can I even read this shit out loud? I'd give it a zero stars if I could. Honestly, it's weird. In a non-homophobic way, parenthesis. <laughs> Our style is cheap, nasty, and overall acting is trash. I've seen better animes drawn with a smaller team. Well, this guy it seems like he actually read the, you know, watched the episode, right? These criticisms are not really attacking the content for being gay, but rather the production value surrounding it. Uh, this dude says, balancing out all the five-star reviews just based off of one episode. It's too soon to be making reviews out of just one episode. Wait until blah, blah, blah. Okay, sure. This is terrible, this guy says. His name is Infinite Opie. I hate this show. It is terrible and a feeble attempt at getting LGBTQ++ IA whatever viewers. This will take the same route as High Spice Guardian. Stop throwing money into animating this crap. Why is it getting so why 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 is it getting so upset? Why 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 are all these people so fucking mad? Like I've never seen any any time like, I see people hating on gay people, trans people, there's any other people that's just not, like, heteronormative. Like, why do you care so much about what other people do in their free time? Like, as long as it's not hurting anyone. And a lot of the talking points is, like, 
gay people or pedos? It's like, what the, where did you, what, what, how the fuck did you jump to this conclusion? And most of the time, these are super conservative, like right-leaning like Republicans. And then you, and then those people are specifically the ones in the closet that comes out, that don't come out. And then they get caught in like scandals. Like how many times have you heard like a Republican politician, like a right-leaning politician, someone super, super conservative, super homophobic, and just like, news report, this dude was found having like a 10-some orgy in a gay, like a gay twink bar. I, I feel a lot of this shit is just repressed in, in like, what's the word? Uh, internalized homophobia, where they grew up in such a homophobic environment, and, and maybe they're gay themselves, but they start, like, hating themselves internally. So gay people will start actively, like, hate saying uh, homophobic shit, even though they are, and they're, like, closeted. But, like, just walk away. This is, like, do you understand the percentage of statistics of how many people are trans or gay compared to everyone else? Like, it is a fraction. You're focusing on this small thing when they're just trying to exist. It's just so mindless hate for no reason. Reviews, then you suck just as much as Crunchyroll does. But before I go, there's just one last thing that annoys me, and it's how cringeworthy Crunchyroll is as a company. They okay. try so hard to appeal and relate to us anime fans, but they're too out of touch and corporate to do so convincingly. It's so obvious that they don't act- Is this the Crunchyroll Awards? actually watch or care about anime yeah so so does megan the stallion actually watch anime though how about how, so i know she cosplays a lot right i i know she does but like what if she's a fraud because <laughs> like the crunchyroll awards uh they basically just hire really really not a-list celebrities megan probably is but there's a lot of people that's like famous and they're bringing on and it's just like wow look at all these cool people athletes celebrities they watch anime too wow it's so normal right but it's so out of touch because they're trying to package it and ship it off to other normies while the actual anime audience is like this does not represent us this is so out of touch what the fuck is going on to do so convincingly it's so obvious that they don't actually watch or care about anime and that their only purpose is to make money off of real fans like you and me that's wah, why wah. they artificially inflate the popularity of their own anime like when they nominated tower of god seven times in their own award show yeah is tower of god not good though wait why a kid not hating on Tower of God? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Like when they nominated. Why, why Tower of God getting shit on right now, a kid not? I genuinely enjoy Tower of God. What do you mean? What, what, what do you fucking mean? Tower of God seven times in their own award show. Or when they released a questionable set of polling data claiming that the God of High School was on par with Black Clover and Jujutsu Kaisen. Is it? I don't know. I'd have to actually look at the numbers, but they're actually inflating numbers. They're making it seem like these animes are super popular to... Why? Just push the specific series? It just seems to be a little bit like a conspiracy theory. There's a lot more I could say, but the truth is, I don't... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see these comments. Jujutsu Kaisen. There's a lot more... Avery says, Crunchyroll removing the ability to screenshot and now removing the comment section. What are we actually paying for at the point? This is not the entertainment aspect. Why are you paying for fucking Crunchyroll? Stop it! You got the internet! More I could say, but the truth is... And next comment, Jeff Sion. Crunchyroll hates fans and wants to butcher Japanese anime in peace and push their censorship, change translation, and push ideology with activist localizers and voice actors in peace. Criticism is hateful. It does kind of seem like they're doing that with the local localizer, right? I don't hate Crunchyroll. And Mr. Joff Thu. This, this is the mother's basement, right? This logo. This is the mother's basement, right? Mother's Basement is a walking L? What do you mean? I've, I've seen some uh, videos from him. I, is it another Giggles scenario where I think like, I don't really know much about their content and the more I hear about their fucking opinion, like Giggles fucking windbreaker opinion, I'm like, this, this is not my go. But he says, one day after I tweeted about review bombing on Crunchyroll, they've removed all comments? That's gotta be a coincidence, right? Like it takes more than a day to push a change this big, right? Well, the code logic, it's dis disabling comment section is not a big deal, but the business decisions and the bureaucratic chain that they have and uh, the dis decision making process that that is going to take a long time unless this is already, you know, they were already thinking about it. Either way, this is too far. They should be moderating, not nuking at all. Killing off the community's years of history isn't a solution. This is a completely based take from Mother's Basement. Why y'all shitting on him here? This tweet's very rational. I just want them to do better. And it's not too late to revert. 
I really hope Crunchyroll. I, this is all the same shit, yeah. First, their decision either. The comment section was a good feature that could be a great feature if they just put in the minimal effort to moderate it. But, but that takes as money. As always, that's just my opinion. Thanks everyone for watching. Why can't they even give a half-assed fucking solution, bro? Like, be like, oh, we're gonna use AI to moderate, and it's probably gonna be a disaster, right? They're probably gonna random ass comments are probably gonna get nuked for no fucking reason, but it's just like a way of saving money instead of paying actual people to moderate. But it's gone. I was actually kind of afraid to post this video because I'm scared that Crunchyroll might get mad at me and try to take down my channel or something. How? What? They, they can't do that. The criticism making videos, you know, talking about what's going on. I, I don't think, what's, what's Crunchyroll going to do? Fucking sue you? But here's the video. Please go give Echidna a like. Sub to his channel if you haven't. I, I honestly really enjoy Like his tier list was pretty based too. His opinions, I enjoy. His, uh, what's it called? Editing, I actually enjoy a lot. Anyways, that's it for me.